This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at the Coronet tonight for the big fight night. With me, I've got Jamie Beard. How are you feeling, Jamie? All right? Bye, man. Yourself? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right, mate. So it's good to meet you and well done for getting involved. Yeah, cheers, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, all for a good cause, ain't it? So, yeah, it's great, man. It's great to do it, you know? Can you tell us what you're feeling right now? Nervous, man. I'm nervous. More nervous than I thought I would be. Um, it's built up throughout the day, but now the first part's on, you know, I'm second on, so. But it's good nerves. Hopefully it's good nerves. You've got to be nervous, haven't you, so. How long have you trained for this fight? Have you had any, any preparation? Eight weeks I've been doing. Um, eight weeks, three or four sessions a week, running, diet. It's not gone that well, but I've done my best, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, eight weeks of sparring, and since I've never done anything before that, so it's been a long, hard track, and it's all, all turned up for tonight, you know? Was there any personal reason why you got involved with this charity, but personally this one? Um, it, it, there wasn't, no, but obviously cancer is obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's a big killer and it's, it's nice to raise money for something that affects so many lives as well, you know, so, and I love boxing and I film London, so it was, it was good to do, to, to box for a charity, especially for cancer, you know, it's a great thing, so. Well, listen, the anticipation of the big night is, is finally here, yeah. seems to be a lot of people outside, so I wish you the best of luck with your fight Thanks, and hopefully you come outside. Cheers, James. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. So. This is James Holder with Jamie Beard for iFilm London. This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at the Coronet today for the big fight night live. With me, I've got Tom Fuller. What's happening, Tom? All right? Yeah, you are, mate. Can you tell us how you're feeling right now? Uh, a bit nervous. Just want to get out there, though, now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what made you get involved with this charity in particular, um, Tom? My dad died of leukaemia a couple of years ago, and uh, it's just a good cause. I've had my nan died of cancer as well, and it's just uh, good to do something for charity. Massive respect to you for giving up your time and getting involved with the charity. I think it's a really nice thing to do, mate. Yeah, um, it's, just, it's all for good calls, so best of luck to everyone who's fighting, really. How's your training been? You've been training hard? I've um, been um, training in the countryside, so I've been like chopping down trees and shit like that. Rocky Four style. Old school. Yeah, old school training. Listen, Tom, they're calling you to go on now, so we're going to wish you the best of luck with your fight. Go and enjoy it, mate, and we'll see you on the other side. Right, sweet, cheers, mate. This is James Holder with Tom Fuller for iFilm London. Thank you. This is James Holder for iPhone London. I'm at the Coronet tonight in Elephant Castle for the big fight night live. With me, I've got Max Redding. How are we doing, Max? Good, all right? Mate, yeah, good. I'm all right, thank you. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Can you describe the feeling? No, I'm absolutely buzzing. I just want to get in now. I'm fed up of waiting about. I'm going to get in, do my business and get out. Yeah. What made you get involved with this charity? Are you, are you a big boxing fan? Yeah, I love to watch boxing. I've never boxed before. Um, and I just thought it's, that's, that's, that's the easy way for me. Like, why not give it a try? And after this fight, you might want to interview me after and see how I feel about it. Yeah. How much preparation have you had for the fight and where have you been training, mate? I've been training at uh, Knight's Gym down Old Kent Road. Uh, I've uh, been training for the past 12 weeks every day, three, three to five hours a day. Putting my heart and soul into it as if I was a regular boxer. No, I, I want to win this fight. So. You've had a good experience with the training side of things as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, listen, Max, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I wish you the best of luck with your fight. Enjoy it, come out safe, and we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. This is James Holder and Max Redding for iFilm London. Thank you. This is James Holder for I from London. I'm at the Coronet today in Elephant Castle for the big fight night live. With me, I've got Joey Pearson. How are we doing, Joe? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. I'm all ready for the fight. I'm good, feeling good. You look like you're pre-warmed up and ready to go in, mate. Yeah, I am, mate. I'm looking forward to it now. All the training now is down to this, so, yeah, it's good. A lot of people here to support yourself tonight. Ready to, expect to deliver? Oh, yeah, I hope so. That's, that's the main worry about it. All the people, can't let them down, can I? So, yeah, it's got to be good. It'll be good. Was there any personal reason you got involved with this charity or was it purely just for the love of the sport of boxing? No, I've been boxing since I was nine years old yeah. and I sort of sort of gave it up, it was too hard for me, but obviously this charity is a great cause, you know, it's got to be done, isn't it? So yeah, that's sort of the reason why. Do you know much about the guy you're fighting? Is it one of your friends or is it someone that the, the boys have matched up? Uh, I know of him, yeah. He just went to my school and he's quite a good pal to me, but obviously once he's in the ring, you know, it all changes, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it'd be good, it should be good, it's a good kid. Um, is there any reason why other people should get involved with the charities and give up their time? Is there anything you've gained out of it? I just think, obviously, getting yourself into sport, doing such a great thing with charity, like, you don't realise going into a boxing gym, how much it changes you. Like, it's not just a sport, it's a lifestyle you have to live. Obviously, dieting, running, you make new friends, you learn confidence. It's just, it's just good for everything, really. It is, good, it is really good. Listen, mate, I wish you the best of luck with your fight. Come out safe on the other side. Thanks for giving us a little bit of time. Thank Cheers, thanks. This is James Holder for iFilm London. 
This is James Holder for I from London. I'm at the Coronet today in Elephant Castle for the big fight night live brought to you by a fight, fight for Cancer UK. With me, I've got Frank McKenzie. How are we doing, Frank? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Second time out in action, Frank. You must, must be a glutton for punishment, even first time. I only come down normally to support the boys, but, you know, the buzz of it, I've got to go, I've got to do it myself, feel it, just the once. The missus has told me as well, just the once, and then I'll, I'll, I'll put it to bed. So I thought I'd come out and fight. So. How long preparation have you had for this, uh, for this training-wise? Well, as soon as I got back off holiday, sort of beginning of July, since about then, I've been full on in the gym, trying to get as much as I can. Everyone said to me I've lost a bit of timber and I've, I've done a bit, so I, I hope to think it's worked, but we'll, we'll see. Why do you think people should get involved with charity nights like this and give up their time? Is there anything you've gained out of it personally? Um, I mean, even down just the ticket sales. Ticket sales alone, I've raised nearly two grand just on ticket sales. Then you look at, you get people, I know last year we ended up buying one of the Millwall shirts, so, you know, people put their hand in their pockets, they, 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 you get the auction and you get the tickets, then you get all the buckets and the raffles, and the amount of money you earn off of one night, and you think, what, it's, it's about 1,200 people, it's, it's, it's all for a good cause as well. You end up, you know, making untold and, and helping others. That's, that's the best thing about it, you're helping to, to stop cancer if we can and that, that's the best thing about it Listen, fair play for yourself giving up your time and getting involved we look forward to seeing your fight hope you come out safe most of all enjoy it do you know what I mean you've, you've trained hard enough to get here so try and, and live it you know what I mean yeah I will do I, I try and do my best hopefully I don't let anyone down but you know at the end of the day it's all, it's all for, for charity and we'll London. I go. London.